All right, the next exercise is to identify transactions that are either uh, on the extreme side, like whether in this case, we're identifying high value invoices that are more than $10,000. And those invoices that are, are older than our 90 day period, right? We're looking at uh, a few transactions that perhaps should not be in our accounts receivable um, balance sheet because they're most likely supposed to be written off. So this is where we're testing valuation and some other things. Uh, so let's start by creating a direct extract. And I could have, I could go into my top records and then look at a particular field and say, give me the lowest records, the bottom records, or I can be more prescriptive, which is what the exercise is calling us to do. Let me go ahead and create a direct extraction. This is gonna be called um, high values. Or let me specifically find out high value amounts. So high value amounts, so that I'm not giving you conflicting instructions. Um, and I'm going to base this on the gross amount, and I'm going to look for anything that is above ten thousand dollars. So any accounts receivable transaction or record or record that has more than ten thousand dollars in our AR um, should be in there. And I pressed uh, validate and exit. And notice that I can do multiple extractions at the same time. This is like running different queries at the same time. And that's why it was so important to, to work with Axis so that we could get to this, this place. Uh, so those are my high value amounts. And in here, I'm going to look at old invoices. Let me make sure that's the same name. So it is old invoices. Um, I am going to look at the date. That's my field. Where is it? Where are you? Um, right here, my date, which is the transaction date, should be less than or equal to, I could have said less than January 1st, 2015, or let me just make it less than or equal to uh, 2014, 12, Let me just make sure the format is done correctly. In this case, we're going to use the quotation marks, and I'm going to validate it. In fact, let me do it without that thought and see what it does there's a mismatch of a field type see uh so that would tell you okay i am not using the the, the quotation marks and then i can validate it uh, and it's a valid equation or i can validate an exit and at this point i can just press okay and that's automatically going to create two more subsets and that is what my my um my exercise is asking us to do and at this point i can uh, just simply click at the transaction and see which ones are dated before that. High value amounts would be these transactions that are above 10,000. And then the old invoices are these three invoices that were dated in November and December of last year. So um, to complete the assignment, I'm just gonna print screen this and put it on my, on my um, 2G and we're done.